How to get a woman to respect you. Five things you have to know. Have you been struggling with attraction? Do you feel like women you like and admire quickly lose interest in you? Or worse, still don't even seem interested in the first place. If you clicked on this video, then you're thinking what I'm thinking. It's time to learn how to get a woman to respect you. Hi guys, my name is Apollonia Fonti. I'm a dating and relationship and attraction coach for you men to not only master your dating skills, but also master a healthy relationship with a high value woman and get the life that you want. And so I'm going to give you everything you need to know in this video about really how to get a woman to respect you and what that typically means. So if this is your first time visiting, I welcome you to click that subscribe button right now, right now, click that subscribe button, don't forget. And as always to my subscribers, thank you for your support and being here with me. So let's get into the seven powerful tips on how to not only make a woman respect you, but make her more attracted to you more than ever. When you develop feelings for someone or when you find someone really attractive, it's easy to lose your cool a bit and make some common mistakes. That's why I tell men all the time, the more beautiful a woman is, the more discipline you have to be. Your goal is just to have fun. Trust me, I see it every day in my one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and in my group coaching sessions with men. And the problem here is that these common mistakes that I'm gonna talk about today make women lose respect for you very quickly. So let's get right to it, shall we? Mistake number one, the ultimate mistake we've all heard this being clingy. There are a million reasons why clinginess is unattractive to women. But first we need to talk about independence. Independent men are attractive and inspiring to women while clingy men look insecure. If you seem unsure of yourself, doubtful about what you have to offer and uncomfortable with your own independence, she's going to lose respect. Or if you demolish your independence and try to make a woman your priority, she's going to lose your respect. On top of that, clinky people invade your personal space sometimes and she's not gonna like that. And on top of it all, clinginess cancels out the chase. And she's going to either consciously or subconsciously feel that you're too available and not much of a challenge. I'm sorry guys, but this is not games. It is not games. Many of you be like, oh, just games. Why can't a woman just be like, I love him and I'm gonna give him whatever the time I want. No, it's human behavior. Think about it. Everything in your life you've had to work for, your job, your car, your house, your career, right? Human behavior. We are trained to put into work for things that we admire and desire for a long-term game. When you don't seem like a healthy challenge, she's not going to feel the desire to pursue you and she's going to lose interest. And most importantly, clingy behavior can also be a sign of disrespect. Women want to be with a man who respects his own boundaries and allows him to make his own decisions, allows himself to have a great life. Clingy men who try to control either, either their partner's actions or emotions are likely to push them away. Simply put, if you want her to respect you, you have to respect yourself. Mistake number two is being flaky. All right, speaking of respecting her, an easy way to show her that you do is to keep your word. Don't be flaky, don't cancel plans, don't forget to do things that you told her you would do. That's a big one. Women respect a man of their word. That shows a lot of masculine qualities. Flakiness can be a sign, um, be seen as a sign of disrespect as it shows a lack of consideration for one another or people's time and commitments. This is not only for her, but this is also for people around you in your life. It can also create a sense of unreliability and distrust as she may start to question whether she can count on you to follow through on future plans. In addition to that, not keeping your word can show a lack of accountability because it just shows that you aren't taking responsibility for your actions and how they impact others. And women find this extremely unattractive. So if you're constantly canceling on her and asking for her a rain check or, and you're doing this because you're like, this is what's gonna get her attracted to me, false. Or if you're telling her you'll help her with something and then you never do, or if she notices that you never follow through on something important in your own life or follow through with your word, but you keep telling her you're going to, she'll lose respect. And this is actually a really unattractive quality, plain and simple for women. Number three, stick number three is not living a high quality life. Okay, guys, this is one of the most important ones. Does not mean you have to drive a Ferrari. Does not mean that you have to own a Rolex. Does not mean that you have to have five women on the side of your arm. This is not what I mean. High quality life. Let's get into it. 
This is when you create a life for yourself where you're able to feel fulfilled, healthy, and happy. For some people, this looks like actively working towards professional goals that makes them proud. For others, it might be that they make sure to travel as much as they can. It can also involve making time for physical exercise, seeing friends and family on a regular basis, and working on creative projects. I call this the wheel of life. There's something I do in my Algorithm of Tracker and group coaching program. It's called the Wheel of Life. It's a seven wheel of life and I have men check in and rate their wheel. It could be friends, it could be spirituality, it could be career, finances, all of this. And I have them rate it. And if there's anything below a seven, that means that they should be working on it. So basically having a high quality life means that people can look at you and recognize that you are making yourself happy. So really look at the broadness of your life and all aspects of your life, not just career, but everything. Do you have healthy relationships with friends, brotherhoods? Can you be open with them? And this is the type of thing that really attracts people because it's clearly a positive environment. So if she sees that you have no ambition, nothing that motivates you, you aren't working towards any goals, and your overall life looks kind of depressing, she's not going to respect you and she's not going to want to date you as well. But on the other hand, if you are positive and charismatic, if you dedicate time to the things that you bring you joy, and if she sees that you care about living a fulfilling life, she's going to see that. And you're gonna attract a woman that's gonna to want to live a fulfilling life too. It's because you have a healthy frame of mind. And number two is because you are able to set goals for yourself and you don't give up on them which is very attractive. Number three is you are emotionally stable and mature, which is highly attractive. And number four is that you would be a good, healthy and motivating partner for her future or offspring if she wants that as well. And this brings me to mistake number four, outburst. Oh guys, all right, outburst. Okay, it sucks because I get it guys. When a woman gives an outburst, it's not frowned upon as much as a man gives an outburst. Because a man with anger, they'll call, say, anger issues and just can't control his emotions is actually kind of like a lethal weapon for a woman. It's like not good. This one is easy if you have anger issues and she sees that you can't keep your cool. She was going to lose respect. And the reason why I say this is easy because the number one thing to keep a woman attracted to you is safety. Now, this is for healthy women. Let's say that you are in a toxic relationship or she's in a toxic relationship with a horrible man. We've all seen this. She continues to go back to him. She, and you're like, why does she even give this guy a time of day? It's because there's a trauma bond there. She hasn't done any healing. Okay. Speaking of women that have, all right, women, especially ones who are ready for a serious relationship and are healthy, want a partner who can communicate in a productive way and find logical solutions together. This is the number one thing that attracts me to my husband is this right here. He does not have outbursts. He literally always tries to find logical solutions for the both of us. But if a man has outbursts every time something bothers you, you're unable to talk to her in any calm manner, she's going to lose interest. And it's a sign of a red flag because this is emotional immaturity and it shows that you don't have emotional regulation. Communication is a skill that something requires some work to master, but it is up to you to make sure that you are making this effort. And if she's not, then it gives you your answer. However, I've also seen some instances where the men were getting totally disrespected, but they just stay and took it because they had feelings for the girl. No, you don't do this. Okay. Mistake number five is not walking away if you're being mistreated going into that. Guys, you got to learn when to walk away. Just because a woman is pretty, has a nice body, she's cute, you have great sex, does not mean she's the one that you marry. The ultimate and the most biggest decision I believe a man can make in his life is not only his career choices, but the woman that he marries. Because a woman can tear down your house and a woman can also uplift your house. Remember that. And I don't think it's preached enough for men. Like it's preached enough for a lot of women, like make sure you choose a good man. But how many times are we telling men to choose good women? And we're literally, the society is getting away with women being so empowered with this whole, I don't need a man attitude that they're not going to get quality men to respect them. It's just that. I believe in a feminine and masculine balance and living in polarity in your relationship and finding those two and doing the dance. So I think it's really important, this mistake that I've seen a lot of men. I've seen this happen a lot in different incidents. And one, the guy had a girlfriend who would make scenes in public and scream in his face over issues that could have been solved through a calm conversation. For example, when his work meetings would run late and he wouldn't 
because he couldn't, text her mid-meeting to let her know she would blow up at him and he just would take it because he didn't know what else to do because he felt guilty because he worked a lot, even though he was paying for all of their household needs and expenses. I could already see through her behavior that she didn't respect him. And the fact that he didn't walk away or speak up or at least tell her that he was willing to have a conversation with her, but only once they were able to have a calm conversation that she was only going to continue to lose respect for him because he couldn't do the balance. So that's why I'm saying assertiveness in these situations are important, but not lose your cool, keeping your stance and keeping calm during these times. I told him that he needed to get back in control of the situation, of course, if he wanted her to respect him. And that looked like setting boundaries in terms of when and how they would talk about the conflict. Instead of standing on the street being verbal and berated, he would tell her that he was going to go on a walk and that they could address the issue basically when he was back and when things were calmed down. In another situation, I had a client whose girlfriend cheated on him multiple times. When we analyzed why this was happening, I understood that a large part of it was due to the fact that he was, he just kept telling her that it was okay. And he would just continue to forgive her. And he trusted that it wouldn't happen time and time again because he lacked self-worth. He lacked empathy. I mean, empathy for himself, but he lacked confidence and he lacked the seven wheels of life that I talk about and focusing on him. He didn't feel like he brought much to the table, so he settled. So you'll always settle for less than you if you feel less than you. So if this, going back to my client, he accept that it didn't, wouldn't happen again because she knew he didn't have boundaries. So it was easy for her to disrespect him. So don't underestimate the importance of walking away from toxicity or at the very least setting healthy boundaries if you want a woman to respect you. And the next mistake is don't try to control her. Last but not least, we need to talk about control issues. I've talked about this before, but women do want, do not respect men that try to control them in what they do, who they see, and sometimes even what they eat. Yikes. I've actually had that happen before simply because it shows that the men are jealous and insecure. It shows that he doesn't trust a girl and this lack of trust can make her feel like she is constantly being monitored and evaluated, which can create a sense of discomfort and unease in the relationship. Plus it can be a sign that he does not respect her boundaries or her autonomy. And so this is what's really important. Again, she's not going to respect you if she feels you don't respect her. So when a man tries to control a girl, um, it can cause her to lose attraction for him because it can make her feel like he's trying to change her or mold her into something she is not, especially ones that are secure with themselves. This is a major turnoff as attraction is often based on acceptance and respect for who someone truly is. And as this video comes to a close, remember five best ways to make a girl respect you is one, don't be clingy, two, don't be flaky, three, live a high quality life, four, control your emotions, and five, never try to control her, right? These are easy things to incorporate in your life, but if you're struggling with any one of these, please don't hesitate to also book a call with us, right? We can do a private coaching session with my trained coach, or you can work with me in my algorithm of attraction program. It's my 12 week program. And as always, I have this next video right over here. It's all about why women come back after you give them distance. So if you're experiencing something like this, I'm going to go into the reasons why it happens and how to change that around in this next video. As always, I'll see you there. And remember, you are always loved. Bye for now.